So Sagittarius, it does feel like for the week ahead, some of you might not be in the best mood. Some of you might be a little bit, you know, um, just not feeling great or not feeling the best, not feeling as happy, as inspired, as positive um, as you would like to feel. And I do feel like some of you need a lot of like, it's okay to feel that way because I keep feeling like some of you like you don't feel well, but at the same time you're applying this, this frustration, this anger, this um, you know, negative reaction towards your own feelings that is creating even more difficulty in uh, overcoming whatever you're, you're to overcome or still processing. So it's basically some of you are being very hard on yourselves when you're dealing with vulnerable um, emotions or emotions that leave you vulnerable or situations that leave you in that position um, where you don't feel like you are in control or you are in power of situations as you would like. Some of you feel like you're fading or there's a, it, it could be like this week brings this feeling of your power fading, like the things you most want, the people you most love, um, the things that you're all about, feeling disconnected from it. Know that it's a temporary, it's a temporary situation, but it can be so powerfully felt that the, the a one week can be felt like you know an exhausting one year. So it's a it's a, it's a it's a time where it's important for some of you to take some time to be with yourselves if you feel that way and to nourish yourselves the best way you can. But also accepting that you are a human being that and one of the things that come along with us being human beings is naturally sooner or later becoming extremely vulnerable because life pushes all to face a lot of things that are going to kind of rip us apart and bring our hearts out of our chest, symbolically speaking, of course, but it's just a part of how things work. And some of you might have a hard time, you know, living experiences that are of common ground to every single human being, but you wish you would be that 1% that would um, not, you know, be forced to deal with the rest of us deal with. So you're being hard, you're being hard on yourself. It's, it, it could be that you're seeing yourself as, uh, or the situation as a weakness, right? Like the glimpse here of a failure of, or of a weakness uh, that you just cannot tolerate or stand well. So all this pressure and negative reaction again towards your own self is what might be causing a feeling as well during the week of great discontentment, depression, or just bad moods. I really feel like you're there's this bitter um, quality here to your thoughts or reactions. It could be that some of you are even, you know, uh, not having patience to deal with your loved ones and the people you most love but you just you cannot deal with them as for now because of what you're dealing on your own so the message is also here be just be honest about that be honest about the time you need for you to get yourself together to get yourself to heal or understand or process whatever you're having a hard time process again you're not a superhero you're not a god you don't have to be this perfect figure all the time and so and I keep getting this for for Sagittarius for some time like you are always trying to be you know something else then differs a little bit from how you're feeling internally um it's time to stop a little bit just stop a little bit and meditate and breathe and go do the things if you feel like doing that that you enjoy doing by yourself Basically, it's a week where being by yourself is more wanted, more profitable to you than being with others because they might not really understand you. And also, some of you are just, I feel like you're restraining your emotions, um, your emotional, you know, the way you give your, of yourself emotionally, it's like you're, you're restraining. Like, if you are in a relationship... 
suddenly you can become very cold or just push again somehow your partner away and your partner might be you know what the hell is going on or if this is not coming from you you can see your partner as well displaying some of that energy and it's a reflection of something i'm feeling of your own nature as well um so some of you that are in relationships be careful with the way you treat your beloveds because you might hurt them with your um behavior it's like your feelings it feels like what used to be here hot so passionate is kind of cooling off like from fire to ice so be mindful of that maybe that's why you need some time out is to reflect really and review really how you feel about someone how you feel about your life how you feel about relationships all of it if you don't take a step back i feel like it will cause damage well it's like it will cause damage um still to the harmony and the peace of things you want to have in your life and um have it go in a positive direction of course, that this is a general message for some of you, but I'm feeling like some of you Sagittarius also, you, ne you neglect and deny your feelings. And so your real feelings are like smothered in a pile of uh, fake feelings, right? And so sooner or later, the fake feelings are going to start crumbling because they are fake. They cannot stand truth too long and... The real feelings that are underneath, like crying to be released, um, I feel like they are speaking louder this week. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of May, as usual, I have a special tarot offer available at a sales price. And for month, it's called, for May, I'm sorry, it's called Sensation. So if you'd like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my tarot services, just email me and I wish you a great week.